Hi, uh, from my previous video, uh, when I use this uh, Inmotion IS scooter with only front motor, it will cut off and it will give a 117 error code, which means that the controller is overcurrent. This also occurs when I use both of the motor and I ride faster than 50 km per hour. This scooter is only 200 kilometers when this happens. The scooter works fine when I use only the rear motor. So I guess that the front controller needs a replacement. Now I have removed the uh, batteries. Uh, you can see the front controller. Now it has the uh, 117 code error. And here is the back controller looks pretty much the same rear controller get the power from the battery here and the front controller get the power from the batteries here uh, this block connect to the batteries uh, two connectors uh, come from the uh, charging port here Okay, here's the batteries pack. We have uh, this one uh, connect to the uh, front controller and this one to the back controller. And there's a small plug here, the clean one. And also this one will connect to the charging port. So after removing the cable ties, you can see that uh, there is a a Philip head screw uh, locking the terminals to the controller. Okay, now I have uh, removed the controller. See in the back they have a uh, thermal paste, but the contact area is minimal. I mean, the surface of the casting aluminum is not flat. See. The contact area is very low, so probably this thing is overheat. I will replace it with the um, thermal pad. So the, the front and the real Raptor controller is identical. So I swap it to see if it works. Uh, here's the real controller. As you can see here that the thermal paste that has been applied from the factory is not in contact with the aluminum chassis of the scooter. So there is no heat transfer from the controller to the chassis. So I will replace this with the first I will swap the real one to the front and the front to the real and see if I still get the 117 or 217 code okay so I will replace the, the thermal pass with the thermal pad okay let's take a closer look at the controller uh, the one at the back and the front is actually identical I put some mark here that this one is chose 117 used to be at the front um, I will swap it to the back to the rear motor see if it still give uh, 117 or it will give uh, 217 instead okay so I have already applied the uh, thermal pad here it's about uh, one millimeter thickness for one sheet it's a 10 by 10 centimeter sheet so it should be uh, have a, it should has the uh, better contact with the chassis better than the thermal paste which uh, has a very thin the surface of the metal here is not machine so it's not flat uh, this uh, one millimeter thickness should be able to give a good uh, thermal transfer uh, than the thermal paste Okay, something about uh, removing the rear controller. You need to remove uh, four bolts, uh, two for each side. Uh, maybe you can't see this, but one of the bolt here, 
it's kind of uh, stuck with the swing arm you need to uh, first remove the fender and then uh, remove the shock holder and uh, now you can move the shock absorber to the back here and then lower the platform and then you have uh, some space between the swing arm and the bolt and you also need a very small allen key so that you can just put it here and unscrew it then you need uh, something like this a round head allen key so that you can unscrew it uh, from an angle like this okay here's the real controller I swap it to the front uh, thermal pad applied now I have already put in the, the real controller which used to be at the front okay I have uh, connect all the cables and then I will drop in the batteries uh, I write in the rain sometime I can see uh, a rusting uh, mark uh, in the floor here and also in the back here and I found that the screws that uh, in the in the bottom side of the batteries also rusted out see it's rusting it's corroded all four corners here so now i have a 217 instead of a 117 when i swap the front and rear controller so the controller is broken it cannot uh, deliver the voltage to the motor 